is John to throw first for the bullseye. That's a 25. That's the bullseye. First leg, it's been the throw first, game on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match here at the WDF World Open at the De Bonte Weber Hotel in Assen sees Canada's John Norman Jr. taking on this man, Mr. Ben, Ben Hazel. John Norman Jr., former Bob Gulliver Spring Open men's champion back in 2019. 100. Also a member of the Canadian team which won the America's Cup overall and, oh, sorry, the overall title and he won the America's Cup singles that year, 2016. Got out of his group in the World Masters 26. on Thursday. Lost his first game to Andreas Harrison of Sweden and then recorded wins over Ivan Madsen, Aaron Yalbert and Ole Ferrari. That got him into the knockouts where he won his first match against 100. Aaron Turner. And then, for some inexplicable reason, he was forfeited out of the last 64 match, whether he was late to the board or whatever. But Tony Vainhoff received passage 95. into the last 32. He's also reached the semi-finals of the Canadian Open this year, which he lost to Jim Long. He's, of course, well known for 41. his appearance at the PDC World Cup representing Canada alongside John Part. And we saw quite the side of John Norman Jr. where he was 45. very animated, both for the good darts and the bad darts. Slightly more reserved so far in this match, however, as the first leg of a potential seven, so plenty of time to possibly 46. see the fireworks going. And he takes on this man, Ben Hazel, the 2018 Vilnius Open champion, currently 49th in the world. 118. And he fires on a maximum, does Ben. He'll be back for 55. He got out his group on Thursday at the World Masters. He was defeated by Dennis van der Ende. He then won his next three against Rudy Zavalkol. Dietmar Berger 16. and Robin Smeish. That got him into the knockouts, which I'll talk about in a second once he goes for 55. 15 for tops. Double 10 then. Yeah, and he does take the first, the first leg. Line. Ben Hazel. Second leg is John the throw first. Game on. First blood to the Englishman. Plenty of time for John Norman to get back into this. Ben Hazel's first match in 16. the knockouts was against the talented Pole Sebastian Biawetschke, who we saw on the stream earlier on. Ben produced his best performance of the tournament, an 88.5 average, defeating Sebastian by five legs to two. And then his run was unceremoniously halted at the last 64 from a stunning 103 average performance from Scotland's Greg Ritchie. So a very good run from Ben. Excellent in the group stage. Very good in the last one to eight. Averaged 86 in the last 64, but just came up against a man in form, in Greg Ritchie. Good steady start from Ben. Back to back scores of 100. John Norman Jr. starting to find the trebles as well. 114. Excellent stuff from the Canadian. Sixteen. Trying to get him straight back in to the leg. We were talking about Gary Stone's match in the previous during the previous match. He has got through that one. Eighty-three. Ian match stood off three. Gary Stone four. Sees him into the next round. Leonard Gates has defeated Wesley Plaisier. 
by four 59. legs to two. John, you require 122. The big Dutchman is through to the next round. No, the big Dutchman is out. The big American is through to the next round. Kai Fan Lung has progressed. James Richardson also through. As is James Hurrell. Stefan Dupre, Mark Barilli. Anthony Allen. Jeroen Karen has defeated Sean McDonald by four legs to two. And Jeroen's fellow Belgian, David Venkin. A 4-0 win 81. over Benjamin Rouse sees him so through to the next 52. round. Double 16 for John Norman. He thought that was in. Steps back, takes aim once again. This time it will be for double eight. No. Ben, you Wouldn't require it be just the thing one. for Ben Hazel to step up and take out this 101? Treble 19 leaves double 12. Double 12 it is for 2 0. And a break. 77. Very unlucky. John, you require 16. As David Kerwin records a 4 2 victory over Kiefer Durham. We look at John Norman. Hopefully yeah, not. Doesn't John want to Norman go the same Junior. way as his countryman Kiefer Durham has just gone. The first game on. And he takes that double eight to restore parity at one all. One hundred. Another Canadian currently playing on the floor, Jim Long. Two one down to Davy Proston, who's averaging a hundred and four and a half. Lee Williams taking on Jordan Brooks. 16. That match in its infancy, but Lee Williams does lead by a leg to nil. James Hurrell, two. Mike Van Leeuwen, nil, uh, one. James Hurrell averaging 103.7 at the moment. 85. Danny Lowey takes on Gary Stone. Currently one apiece in that one. And Chris Landman leads Martin Man Marty Santa Maria by a leg to nil. 140. Still very, very busy on the outside boards. Mayumi Uchi, the conqueror of Bo Greaves in the first round, currently 2 2 with Cali West as Anna Madigan progresses into the last 64 of the ladies' competition. Yitka Cizarjava, 3 1 over Lorena Riedbergen at the moment. That's for a place in the last 32. 60. Stephanie Renick. Who we saw on this on the stream yesterday, leading her Japanese opponent Yoko Sukui by two legs to one as Yitgasi Zarzova closes 43. out a 4-1 victory. Almedina Fajardo, 3-0 up in her match. Ninety-nine. Ben you require 133. Triple 19 would have left double eight for Ben. John, you require sets it up. If he comes back, John Norman Jr. 142. Treble 20 should be the first target. Won't do it on this occasion though. One hundred. Great last start. Ben, you require 40. Is it too little, too late though? With Ben Hazel on 40 tops for Big Ben. He's getting closer. Yeah, and it's there. The first Come on, he says, with a fist pump. Ford Lag is John the throw first. Game on. Takes a 2 1 lead, going with the throw. Can tell you that our next match we will have on the stream, the 10th match we have shown today. We'll see another Englishman, the man they call Nasher, John Scott, taking on the Dutchman, Salmon Renian.
on just the wrong side of that wire, finding a treble and a single one. Lorraine Hyde back in action in the last 64, currently 1-0 up on Barbara Hospodarska. John Uri Steve Uri 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 takes the first leg against Andreas Harrison. John Norman has 1-2-1 one, one to restore parity at 2-2. Two, two. Treble 17 would leave the bull. Not to be. However, Ben Hazel, 1-5-2. 57. Ben, you require 152. Massive, massive finish. This would be to steal it. To go one away from victory. Not to be this time. 140. John, you require 64. Danny Lowby takes a 3-2 lead over Gary Stone as John Norman takes aim for 64. Another single would leave the double. Double 16 for 2-2. Two -two. Desmond. 48. Oh, just the wrong side of the wire. Ben, you require 12. Ben Hazel then, double six to move one away to go onto the hill. I think yeah, that's in. Yes, it is. Ford line. Ben Hazel. <laughs> We saw Fifth Christian do that a couple of days ago, I think it was. The, a player hit a double that side of the board, and the, I think it was double six, in fact, and the, the view was obscured by another dart. And you may think that the referee has made a mistake by not saying it's game on and not checking to see if it's game on, but the player is the one that has to instigate. It's a bit like a, a, bit like a bowler at cricket offering a how's that to the umpire. 100. Then the umpire can say whether it's out or not. Well, the referee doesn't want to move in case it's not in, in which case he would be distracting the player from throwing another dart. So 100. the player will step forward or have a look and say, is that in? Then the referee will have a look because the player has allowed it. And then the game shot is called. So that was right in the corner, that one. So Marco did the right thing by not moving. Couldn't quite see from his vantage point, so Ben stepped forward. Is that in? Then One Marco can have a look. Confirm that yes, it is indeed in, and make the game shot call. One on the so there. <laughs> David Venkin, 3-1 up now on Anthony Allen. One away from victory and a place in the last 32. Mayumi Uchi is 3-2 down to Cali West. The conqueror of Bo Greaves could be going out here. Then you require 136. Ben will be back for 58. a shot. That's 78. John Norman Jr. back in 179. Ricard Tingval of Sweden has just defeated Jim Fitzsimmons to book his place in the last 32. Jacques Labra and Max Geese, currently 2-2. Patrick Peters 78. was 3-0 up against Thomas Junghans, but Thomas has got a leg back. Has double 12 now for Ben Hazel for the match. And it, has, shot it is there, enemy. yes. Ben Hazel. Can't even speak. Good performance from Ben Hazel, an 84 and a half average John Norman at averaging 80. It's good stuff from Ben Hazel. He's into the last 64 of the WDF World Open. He'll have a quick conflab with Marco before departing the stage. But it's good stuff from Ben Hazel as he makes his way into the last 64.